Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison. I create lifestyle, luxury, fashion, and beauty content. Your support would mean so much to me if you could like and subscribe since it helps out my YouTube algorithm. Today I have a mini luxury haul. Two pieces from Louis Vuitton and one from Christian Dior. This Christian Dior one I got on Fashion File. So it is pre-loved and it is an old style. These two I just got in. I wanted to wait to open them until they both came in. The first one, when you buy from Fashion File, it comes wrapped up, you get a nail filer that I love and I keep. A sticker. Oh, the case. And it says Dior on the box, but I don't really care that the case is damaged because I can use my own sunglass case. But I didn't know they made uh, sunglass dust bags for, from Fashion File also, but it does come with a Christian Dior sunglass pouch. I've never ordered sunglasses from Fashion File before, so I'm a little surprised. Oh! Because this always comes with their bags, and I guess it comes with their sunglasses also. Ta-da! Ta-da! These are the Christian Dior So Real sunglasses with the mirrored lenses. And I have Gucci cat eye ones that are my classic favorites, and I have a couple of Chanel mirrored ones, but I really wanted a more fun, playful pair of sunglasses. It's so hard for me to find sunglasses that fit my face well because I have a weird... I used to have an oval face, but when I got older, I started losing fat over here. So now it looks like I have an egg shape. You know how it's all rounded at the top and then all of a sudden it goes a little wobbly and weird on the bottom half. What do you guys think? Does it go well with my face? I usually have to watch video or take pictures of myself in sunglasses because I have no idea if they look good on me or not. I just usually think, mm, they look okay. In case you're thinking about buying these sunglasses and if you have a similar weird shaped head like I do, then you can see if this shape would suit you. When you buy Louis Vuitton online, it comes in a box like this and it does not say coming from Louis Vuitton. I'm sure it's to cause less theft. But when you open it, it does say Louis Vuitton on the box. I ordered this just before I left for London for seven weeks, and I kind of forgot about these pieces. This houses the receipt. Oh, I love to keep these, these ribbons because sometimes I'll make bows for my daughter or use them as shoelaces for her. Can you guess what this is? If you haven't seen my other video on my Chanel unboxing, you should watch it if you are a planner lover. This has been sold out. I called Louis Vuitton sales advisors and they were able to get one for me from a Louis Vuitton inside a Bloomingdale's in New York. I love it because I love planners. I have a whole collection. I don't know if the video, if you could see it in frame, but I love planners. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I probably have around 10 planners and I love them all. But I really wanted the classic GM Louis Vuitton monogram print planner. Here it is up close. I do a lot of financial forecasting, daily planning. I need to get better with daily planning. I use these a lot for financial forecasting, my investments, keep track of my all the streams of my income and where they're going. This is the inside. I didn't want to get it hot stamped just in case I wanted to sell it, but I'll probably keep this forever or um, give it to my kids or my, I think my dad or mom would really love this too as a present. Uh, for now, it's mine. I love it. I usually buy my inserts from cloth and paper. It's a nice minimalist look. It's very clean and I love that it's woman owned. Well, I think she 
owns it with her husband or fiance, I'm not sure, but she is, it's a small black owned business and I love supporting especially women owned business, but especially POC. The third one. The third one has also been sold out online. I have a contact in Newport Beach and it's a small Louis Vuitton inside a, a Neiman Marcus. It's amazing because they have a lot of out of stock online items at that shop. That's where I got my mini pochette limited edition. So cute, I was so lucky to find that. And I feel really lucky to find this. Open it together. Oh, I can tell you where it's from. It is from Louis Vuitton Newport Beach Fashion Island in Neiman Marcus. Can you guess what this is? Oh god. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, she's a beauty. The monogram Louis Vuitton bum bag. And I know this is not a new release, but I got the Empreinte version. I'll show you. I got the Louis Vuitton Empreinte version right when it was released. This one is slightly larger. This is timeless, whereas I feel like this is subtle. You can still see the embossing on it. Uh, but this one, I feel like it it's a vibe. This is when I wear a sweat outfit with some Nike shoes. This would be my one label statement piece. Whereas this one, I could wear my Chanel running shoes if I wanted to, or a couple of more statement pieces because this one you might not know is Louis Vuitton if you don't know. Let me know if you want me to do a comparison on the sizes and what fits. I'm so excited about this. This would be a great travel bag for me. Just to, oh. Okay. Let's try it on. Like this. Oh yeah, this is much bigger. Oh, and I asked the lady what this part was for because I just didn't see a point in it. And she said you could you use it as a hook for hand sanitizer or a coin pouch. And I don't know if I would I don't know if I would necessarily do that because I feel like it would ruin the look, but maybe for functionality as extra storage space. I like this little handle detailing up here because I feel like it breaks up the top design. Let's see. There is the logo. It also says Louis Vuitton at the top. Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, it's just black. I thought it was gonna be their Alicantra lining, but it's a, a cotton material. Is there, no, there's no, Slot right any anywhere and on the back there is a zipper so with all the stuff I love it this one I'll show you the one this one is a it's a brown alicantra lining but here I'll put it on just to show you the difference in case you were thinking about buying each one. See, I love the, oh, this looks really great with my outfit, but can you tell it's a little bit smaller than this one? If you want a comparison video on these two bum bags, let me know. Let me know what you would put in it so I can find something similar and see if that would help you. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Bye.